Hi, right, sir. How are you? Can you roll your window down? Thank you. I'm Sergeant Abel with the Sheriff's Office. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. Good. What we're doing here is an OVI checkpoint. We're working with Ohio State Patrol here just to let people know we're out and about trying to enforce drinking and driving. Okay. I have a form here I'll give you. When you get home, go ahead and read that. It'll kind of explain what we're doing. Okay. I'm going to put this on your dash, though, for right now so he knows that I spoke to you. Okay. Okay. Do you have your driver's license and insurance on you by any chance? I hope so. Okay. Where are you headed? Down to Worcester. Down to Worcester? Yeah. Okay. Thinking about moving there. So we're going to see what it's like at night. Thinking about moving there. Where do you live now? Maslin. I'm a Maslin, huh? Maslin Tigers, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Perry Panthers. Oh, Perry Panthers? Okay. <laughs> I was raised a tiger, though. Very good. Everything's current. Okay. Again, when you get home, take a few minutes to read that and kind of let you know what we're out and about doing, okay? Okay. All right. Have a good weekend. You too. Thank yes, you. sir. That's good. Hi. I'm Sheriff Hutchinson. I'm Gail Bennett. How are oh, you? Oh, I'm great. Thank you very much. <laughs> we're doing a sorority checkpoint tonight there. You had any I'm alcoholic beverages no. tonight? <laughs> no. Okay. Lay it up on top of your dash. Do you have a driver's license? a sobriety checkpoint. Well, we do it for more than one reason. A lot of folks think that we just do it for the enforcement aspect of it, but we also do it for the educational portion of it. We want to make sure that the folks are aware of why we do the OVI checkpoints and the purpose is to deter alcohol-related incidents. And what's the significance of this location? This location, uh, the amount of traffic, a lot of large uh, accidents um, in this area as far as OVI is involved, in addition, this is a main route from Akron to the Worcester area, and it's very key as far as the number of crashes relating with alcohol. And what do the officers do when they make contact with the drivers at a sobriety check? The very first thing that we do, we ask if they've got a driver's license on them. Uh, once they provide the uh, driver's license, we have a conversation with them. We we provide uh, information regarding why we're doing the checkpoint. We give them some, uh, a pamphlet that has information on checkpoints. In addition, we're looking to see if the person's impaired. And so far, how's the checkpoint went tonight? Well, uh, it, we actually were pretty surprised. So far, we've made two OVI arrests. Um, we've had a couple drug-related arrests as well. So this was, it was surprising. Is that I think it's a good thing. It's, it, it's really uh, enlightened me how well organized it is. The people aren't held up that long. Uh, so far tonight, they've, they've taken some people off the road that should have been taken off of it. Uh, it, it benefits all of us, uh, the safety factor. Uh, what surprised me was the drugs so far that they've uh, also taken off the streets right now, so far tonight, on the different stops. And uh, it's just very interesting to watch what goes on at the time when how the officer, uh, the officer, the trooper can can just by watch people's uh, body language and, and uh, figure out what's going on. You have a driver's license with you? Yeah. Okay. You had any alcoholic beverages to drink tonight? Yeah. Uh -huh. Any alcohol tonight? Have you drank any alcohol no. tonight? No. <laughs> okay. 